Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aisha Isli and today I really want to talk about the lessons that I've learned during my first Ramadan. Okay, technically it's not my first Ramadan as last year I did try Ramadan um, but I was a new Muslim and I actually declared my shahada during Ramadan so I didn't really fully get to complete it. So this is my first uh, fully completed Ramadan and um, I really want to share some of the lessons that I've learned and I'd really like you guys to share what you've learned as well because you know it's been an interesting month it's not like usual I mean I assume it's very different normally you know there's not so many restrictions because of Covid um, there's been quite a lot of um, problems been going on in the world and I, I really want to share some of the lessons that I've learned and also uh, you guys please let me know what you've learned as well the first thing I want to say and I think when I realized this, it was very profound in my mind. And I was just sitting thinking and I thought to myself that when we're fasting, when we're abstaining from food and drink and all the other things that we abstain from, we're pretty much saying that Allah, I need you more than I need water. I need you more than I need food. And that's really interesting to think because you need water to survive you need food to survive but in ramadan you're saying that i need allah more it's harder to survive without allah than it is to survive without food and water that's kind of what you're saying and when i thought about that that was really profound for me and that really made me realize how important allah is even more you know we, everyone always talks about how important it is how important it is but you don't always see people really implementing it in their lives and this really helped me realize how important it really is and how blessed we are to be Muslim. I'm really sorry, but I'm at my mum's house and my mum has dogs. So <laughs> we've got the dogs in the background. They're absolutely adorable, but yeah, my mum's dogs are kind of stealing the show right now. Another big lesson I learned is during the end of Ramadan, things were getting really bad in Palestine. And as you guys already know, it's still really, really bad right now. And another huge lesson I learned is just how fortunate we are. You know, when there's people who are just, they're, all their du'as are just filled with, Ya Allah, please don't let my kid die today. Please don't let this bomb land on our house. Please don't let the police take my husband or whatever it is. When your du'as are like that, and that's completely different to the kind of du'as, you know, you and I are making. You know, we do make du'as for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. We do make du'as for our Uyghur brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan, Kashmir. You know, there's so many places that are in conflict. Um, you know, we're not making du'a for ourselves in that way. And just realizing how fortunate you are and how all of this fasting, it's hard, but it's nothing like what a lot of people are going through in the world people who are our brothers and sisters who are going through and it hurts it, it hurts us too but we have to turn that pain into something positive in the sense we have to turn that pain into action and we have to try our hardest to do something about it that's another really big lesson that i learned this one and, um, and i think the last thing i want to say is just hold on whatever it is that you've achieved this ramadan even if it's something tiny maybe you prayed like one rakat more than usual uh, during the whole of ramadan just whatever it is that you've done that's a tiny bit better just hold on to it and remind yourself that you need to keep it up this is the message is that yes ramadan is super special and it's an amazing way to start increasing in your deeds in your salah but keep it up see if there's something you can bring into your everyday life now that will make you better than you were before because i see ramadan as yes a way to refresh but you don't want to refresh and then come out the same way you were for example you don't want to go into a hair salon get i don't know get your hair done or get some new treatment done and then come out looking exactly the same this is ramadan you don't want to go through this refreshing period and then come out exactly the same you want to come out better you want to come out improved so what have you done and what are you going to keep doing which is an improvement ask that question to yourself make a conscious decision and i want to hear what you guys have learned this ramadan tell me i'm sure you can think of way better things than what i've thought of 
but you know a lot of the lessons we learn are subconscious we don't always realize the lessons we've learned a lot of lessons they affect us but we can't always put them into words or know what's going on but tell me let me know thank you guys for listening and Eid Mubarak to everyone I'll see you guys again very soon Alhamdulillah.